All right, guys, welcome back to more uh, Let's Play Borderlands. We, I did a grinding stream, which got me to, like, level 59, or no, 57. Uh, and then I just did some grinding by myself, uh, where I completed the giant brain quest, um... And stuff so uh, if you ever want to see me like do grinding that I'm not gonna upload uh, check out twitch link is in the description um, so we are th the reason why I'm recording now is there is a level or a trophy at level 61 so we're gonna try and get that and then it's um Cromerax. oh Wow, that's... Oh, it shoots rockets. I don't like the rocket shotguns. They're just they're just not for me. Uh, and then we'll end up trying Cromorax because... Um, I'm not really sure how else I would be able to do it. It would take forever, but... Yeah, this is a great way to get experiences. Basically just kill the birds. So, you know... Because we have intuition going, uh, each bird basically gives us a thousand, which is awesome. Like, I can waste the bullets too, like, that's not a problem. I didn't get it. Oh well. Oh, it's coming towards us. And boom. Yeah, even just 780. Uh, right there is pretty good. Uh, those are all worse. Okay. And then once we hit level 61, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to buy a skill point uh, reassignment. Because um, it would just make sense. Uh, because there are certain things that... Uh, I highly doubt that we are going to need during the Cromorax fight. Like, the dazing ability, I don't think is going to come in at all. Like, I don't think it's going to come in handy at all. Alright. I don't know where the other birds are. Oh, there's one. There's some more. Yeah, you can kind of just pepper spray it. Ooh. Well, we just got a 20,000... There we go, level 61. We got a 20,000 experience challenge. Which I'm assuming is kill enough enemies with the uh, combat rifle. Uh, ding over leveled to 11. Now, the question is, can I get experience? Um, yeah, it definitely seems like I can. But does it actually add up to anything is the question. Yeah, it seems to be adding up. It does. So we have another skill point. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to save it because, I mean, there's no point. I'm going to buy a skill point reclassification. So... I probably won't have enough money to get anything awesome from the Cromeraxes uh, thing. But we'll try. You never know. There might be a... Uh, I might... Uh, do like grinding or something for a little bit of cash. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly how... I'm going to grind for cash. Like, maybe I could do a couple of things. Like, yeah, Into the Lumberyard gives us 1.4 million. Uh, Night of the Living Dead gives us 1.1 million. Uh, so, I mean, that's a possibility if I'm, like, in need of cash because there's a really good item. Um, so, we'll think about that. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. So, I want to come. I want to get all the way back to the beginning. Because that's really the only place that you can uh, do skill point reallocation here. 
Oh, let's uh let's grab this weapon chest and there's a weapon chest to our left here. Um so that'll help us. In terms of getting a bit of money. Yeah, there's 900,000 there. 300,000 there. So that's 1.2 million right off the bat. There's 1.6 million and a 700,000. So, I mean, that's some really good uh, cash right there that we'll be able to use. So, I don't know. That was like two-ish million or something. I don't know why I'm going this way, but... I mean, I guess it was closer to the... Um, not the wallet, but uh, to the weapons chest. Fine. You guys suck. And it does seem... So this is the second playthrough, which is why the enemy levels are so high. Um, and the levels seem to be scaling with me. Uh, which is great. Because it's allowing the uh, experience to stay relatively the same. Uh, as I go through each thing. So we will have to, we will have to save and reload um, in order to get into playthrough one, but yeah, only twelve thousand. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have fifty nine skill points, which is awesome. So if we look at our skill points, I mean, we have to spend one here. I mean, so we have fifty eight skill points. Ten, twenty, thirty, thirty five maxes out an entire thing, which is pretty cool. Now, we're definitely going to want our shield up. Melee attack can cause days of an equal level enemy plus 20%. So, that's going to be worthless. So, we just do that. Um, what does this do? Phase Blast can daze enemies equal to a... Um, equal to level. So, that's going to be worthless. So, let's get the regenerate health. Killing an enemy regenerates your shield. This, I feel like, is going to be worthless. Because I don't expect there to be that many enemies. Uh, so, giving us faster slowdown, or faster cooldown, is great. And I think that's going to be the way that I leave it. Um, because the days, even though it's, you know, nice for them to slow down, I don't think Cromorax is going to be an equal level to me. So now we can focus on these. Which I could go 35 and 8, but, um, I mean, this increased bullet, uh, thing. Intuition isn't really going to help us at all. So, really, it's 30 and 13. Um, elemental chance effect, yes. And rate of fire is yes. Um, critical hit damage is a yes. Uh, longer melee, or uh, longer phase walking duration might be useful. You deal shock damage to nearby enemies when phase walking. Increase your resist is resistance to damage. Add corrosive attacks to your melee. And gives your gives me better melee damage. Now I'm definitely gonna want the chances to save ammo is the thing. But let's let's do this. Killing an enemy, that might not even be a thing. Cooldown per killing of an enemy. Ugh. So let's do something. Okay, we take less damage coming out of phase walking for a few seconds. We just take uh, less damage from the elements. So we're going to do that at least. Yeah. Um... Increase that. Velocity and damage. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I'm going to get at least one of those. Because more melee damage would not be a horrible thing. Because I, I might go in and punch. And that already gives us plus 35 melee. And four seconds in um, duration. Which is nice. More shock damage. More melee damage and makes it acid. Uh, that's not really great. 
the physical resistance I'm looking at. 10% chance to save ammo. I might increase that more. So let's do something like this. Oh, and before we do anything else, I guess. What do I have here? Okay. Spark, Radiance, and Striking. Spark. That's Radiance. Strike. Striking is that one. That one might not be used that much, but we'll see. Venom, Interglow, and Mind Games. Well, that's Venom. Interglow. And that's Mind Games. So, I mean, we would get more health back... But days and the corrosive damage, maybe. Okay. Um, Electricity damage. Radiant Slayer, Silent Resolve. Radiant Slayer, Silent Resolve. So, I mean, I could put points into this to deal more shock damage. Um, team cooldown reduction. Shield regeneration. Phoenix Girl Power Intuition. So that's Intuition. Girl Power is regenerate shields when killing an enemy. Get movement speed and experience when killing an enemy. And then the more fire damage. Eh. Better shield and acid resistance. Resilience Diva Inner Glow. Diva Inner Glow. So more shield. More regeneration and resilience. More elemental resistance. So that one might be the one that we go with. Yeah, because I've been just using that for a while. For um, So let's throw that on. Merc. SMG damage. Okay. Quicksilver high velocity girl power. Okay, girl power is that one. Quicksilver is fire rate. And high velocity is the damage. So... I can see that one being good. High velocity is more damage. Sniper rifle, so that's not horrible. But I mean... Spark Phoenix Diva, did I look at that? Spark Phoenix and Diva? Spark is elemental effect. Diva is shield. Phoenix is that. Okay, so the Firefly, the Merc, the Spectre, and maybe the Tempest are the ones that I'm going to want to keep. Yeah, see, we need, like, okay, so let's, so I think I want to grab some Radiance then. Let's get a little bit more damage there. Yeah, I think 42% damage reduction already is good. Three points left. Phoenix. Yeah, that 20% chance to save ammo is going to be very handy. Yeah, let's get to 640% melee damage. That is amazing. Okay. So, um... I'm going to run away. Do something like this. Let's see. Our shield is now up to... 2,722, which is amazing. Okay, it is saving. So once it's done saving, we'll exit. And then we'll load up our save file one here. All right, single player, existing character, level 61, yes. But I'm going to go into playthrough number one. Mainly because uh, playthrough number two, I didn't even get a chance to go into the DLC that has Cromrax. So there are, there will be a few things that uh, we can do after Cromorax, Um which I have a feeling is going to um, be a long time. What am I looking for? 
Is it T-Bone Junction? Is that where I want to go? Yes, I believe. I believe T-Bone Junction is indeed where I want to go. And then we have to do some driving and stuff. So. And I know that there are there is a chest here near T-Bone's Junction that will have some weapons that we can then sell. Like, I've been, I've been working my uh, butt off towards this. Because I really want it to uh, happen. Yeah, $107. Yeah, we're back in uh, square one. Yeah, level 31 stuff here. So, okay. We can sell... Um, yeah, I mean between these two get rid of that uh oh i kind of want to dump the blast uh the uh, iridians because it's kind of just not worth it but uh this terrible matador actually maybe even the hunter shotgun because don't i have a shotgun equipped yeah this 283 uh which is just amazing. So we're going to sell both of those. Get some good money that way. Uh, that's a million dollar sniper rifle. I mean, hell, that's power. The Liquid's Wrath is interesting. Uh, we're going to keep all of, you know, those. Okay, so let's go pick up the weapons uh, that are over there. And then we will grab a vehicle, and then um, we will head towards Cromerax. Yeah, you will die. Kill him if you can. <laughs> okay, so that's ammo, so that I don't care about. This is where I want to go. Yeah, so there's this, and then there's, yeah, there's an occasional weapon in here. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not a lot of money, but <laughs> still like an extra 30000 that I wouldn't have had. Now, is there something here? Yes. That is a horrible shotgun. And then it was a uh, it was an SMG that we picked up. Or was it I guess it was a revolver. Oh no, we grabbed that from the um uh from the locker. There we go. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, it won't tell me. Alright, so yeah, we'll grab the monster spawn and teleport. And then Kill Cromerax is south? Yes. We have 3,000 on our shield for, uh, for this, which is awesome. 3150, damn. So we'll, uh, we'll drive there, we'll see what sort of stuff we'll have, we'll end the video, and then the next video I will attempt Cromerax. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is all the way south, yep. Oh, we can still get experience. <laughs> we can still get eight experience from those guys. I'm actually surprised we can get experience. Oh no. I'm gonna be hit. Alright, there's another free aid experience.
I mean, I'll take little bits of chip experience. That's fine. It's not going to make a difference, though. I'm not going to gain a level from doing this. Secret final boss, 20 kilometers. Not really secret when you advertise it on the road. <laughs> Fort Knox, 20 kilometers. Hate camp, 2 kilometers. Now, I should probably buy some, like, healing potions and stuff, but... We'll just... We'll see how we can do with just the, um phase walking because the phase walking is going to heal us a lot like it'll heal 70 points of damage per second and our duration for it is going to be pretty high um so how do i get to it again ah yes down and over okay oh i gotta be careful of the stupid bombs that's right Yeah, those, there. I did a flip. <laughs> Alright, uh, which then means we can actually come up around this way and go up over here. Oh. Is it... I'm trying to see how the picture goes. Okay, so we can come up over here. Okay, what was that? <laughs> then we can go this way, but I don't think our vehicle can fit through these, so... Yeah, let's just, boom. Run them over for 12 experience. Oh, wait, no, I think it can, actually. Yeah, I believe we can go this way. Oh no. I ran them over. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Secret final boss, exit now. So what we'll do... Oh wait, nope. We gotta go up. This is ammo here, so that doesn't particularly matter. Okay. Surprise it has to reactivate. Cromorax is lair. Has a chance of dropping the best weapons and gear ever seen on Pandora. And he's going to be... Damn difficult. <laughs> yeah, like, look, there's a dead guy there already. Uh, let's do that. Alright, so we have here... Um, nothing that we can loot. But... 119 double anarchy, but we need to be level 64. 6.9 million for not a great one. That's worse than the one that we have. Wow, those are horrible weapons. What about shields? All of those are worse than what we have. Shock resistance, big whoop. The grenade is not as good as we have. We already have all of that. So let's max out our ammo here. And then we will buy some potions? Yeah, super healing kits. Wait. Commando? Oh, soldier. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I mean, that's all we can really do unless I were to wait around 10 minutes and then see what else they give us. Um... But I don't think that's going to really be an option. So when we come back, C 
seeing what it takes to take on Cromerax. Thanks for watching.